Kids are playing behind you or something like that and they're not paying attention or i'll cut for you you'll also see all your sensors here if somebody gets too close you're about to hit something you'll see it here now this is a front corner this is a regular front camera this is going to mimic this one on the top view this is going to be your rear camera this is a rear corner camera so you can see out of alleys really handy in the city where i'm buying um and then you have your two wheel cameras so you don't scrape up your wheels now you get this 3d button that's really nice too though and you can see exactly where you're at you can see how high the curb is you can see how close you're getting actually to something because these wheels are really nice and you don't want to scrape them up. cool so you get that right there a couple of last things here now too we were talking about all the driver's assistance right we were talking okay looks a little bit different right you can scroll up and down certain things mpgs how fast you're going or all of that in front of you right now when you tap to the right you see how it went from red to yellow mm -hmm. you have all your mp3 or any kind of radio that you want up front of you in here mm -hmm. you also have this list button on the side left here you can go from your media play any kind of bluetooth you want when you tap to the right you also have your phone you can tap this down right here and say hey call him call john you know what i'm saying call audi exchange as long as they're in the phone like that right. you'll be able to call from there this is where we really went Benz don't have it like this, BMW doesn't have it like this. As easy, in my opinion. That's cool. It's all 3D buildings. You'll be able to actually see the buildings. Um, so it's really, really intuitive. Now, so you have the pay for this feature? No, no, no. This feature is standard. If you want it to look like a satellite map, like a Google View Maps, you know what I'm saying? That's extra. But this is really nice. One thing I want to show you here now, and this is only on the SQ. Mm -hmm. When you hit this view button, right? Mm -hmm. you still maintain your map right there. Mm -hmm. Cool. You can still get your phone. You can still get your Bluetooth. You can still get everything from there. But that's just going to be your little menu here. This is going to be the sport look. You know what I'm saying? This is the S model, so you can actually see the tachometer, your RPMs, all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. If you just want to roll with it like this, though, with a map, too, you're more than welcome no, to. I like that one. Like this? No, the three. Or the other one? Yep. Like that? Perfect. All right. You feel comfortable enough to take it out? Yes. Okay. This is what we're going to do. Put your seatbelt on. Okay. Oh, where was the ambient lighting? Oh, sorry. Forgot we didn't even go over. You're obsessed with ambient lighting. So good. You, I'm, it's nice at night. I'm gonna be honest. We we'll probably have to go under some shade to actually see it. But to show you, light and visibility, interior lighting, individual. So, see how I was talking about surfaces. Mm -hmm. You can change up the brightness. You can change up the color. So on the side here, you can't really see it if you dip your head underneath. Oh, yeah. You see it? Now, you can change up your foot wall too. So if you want it underneath the foot wall, you can actually see a little bit. Just need it to be a little bit darker out yeah. for that to happen. You can also change up the line though. So you can change surfaces and the line. You can do this one or you can do that one and it all changes up for you. It has six colors? Yes, ma'am. Oh no, you have a bunch of colors. Oh. Oh yeah, you have more than that. You have 30 colors. Oh, okay. Is the rear seat ventilated or just heated? Uh, just heated. Heated. Yeah, just right. heated. Oh, and it got the shade thing for the Yeah, it's probably 15. Make it right. Everybody but you got to remember. I've been seeing this 14, 13, the cars I've been looking at, so that's not bad. But check this out now. You have a 4.0 turbo V8. You know what I'm saying? You're making 500 horses all day in this thing. Nothing's going to move like this. And you have this standard, Quattro. X-Drive and 4Matic are going to be a little bit different than ours. Okay. 
okay? Ours is given the power to the wheels at all times. Okay. Theirs, they do have a form of this where it kicks out after 40 miles an hour where the car doesn't sense that it needs it. Theirs will kick out. Ours stays on at all times. Okay. So you do have that. What is this? The vents? Oh, these are the vents. I was pointing at this. Quattro. No, I saw that. Oh, yeah, you're good. Yeah, just the vents. Quattro oh. is, you said it puts our all wheel, the power to the all wheel drive. Our all-wheel drive system. That's okay. what we call our all-wheel drive. They have X Drive. They have BMW, or they have uh, Formatic, is what they got. BMW calls theirs X Drive. Benz calls theirs Formatic. Ours is the original though, and all of our cars are coming standard with it. This feels comfortable though. Oh, it's the best. This is my favorite car that we have. Not even the S. You know what I'm saying? Just the regular Q7 is great too. But this gives it that nice V8 power. We haven't even listened to this though. I know, I don't want to turn no, it No, 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 you won't. You won't. It's fine. We he said get... those things that stick up as extra speakers. Well, yeah, go down well, and you they have, pop up. You have speakers here, you have speakers no, here. I was telling him that. You have that, but it bounces off the glass. Oh, okay. That's why. So it's all sonic. Right, right. Yeah, make a right right here. Okay. You'll be able to give it... Well, can she give it one more go? Yeah, do your thing. That's what yeah. I like to hear. That's nice. I need to get up, I can get up. How is this in the snow? It's all wheel drive. It's Quattro. You ever seen like go on YouTube and look up Quattro Winter? You have like little A3s that are like the size of Toyota Corollas getting out of a foot of snow. So when I when I'm telling you it gives all the power to the wheels, right? You know how like your car will spin out mm -hmm. if you're in the snow and you're in a lot of snow. What this does is forcing all the power down so you are gonna get traction. You know what I'm saying? If you ever slip, the car's gonna correct you. You do have a traction control like button here, but but Quattro even stays on during that. Oh, yeah. You know, so just be careful here. Some people make a right. Don't make a right at the light.